Today we are working on building out a freestanding meter base. In other words, the meter will not actually be on the building itself. It will be separate, like 30-ish feet away from the building. And these struts are like twice the length we need them, so I'm just cutting them in half so that I have like four horizontal struts that we can use. I'm just trying to score a line to guide myself. These things kind of freak me out a little bit because this cutting wheel can break apart and send little pieces everywhere. You don't want those hot pieces of metal in your eyeballs. That'd be bad. But it's kind of fun cutting through that metal. My wife, of course, is <laughs> she's hauling in a lot of gear. <laughs> she, she has such a great attitude most of the time. Uh, there's our generator, tractor, shot back. And of course, it's been raining. So we're always using that shop back to get the, the water out of our ditches so we can get in there and work and get things done. So there's four of them. We got four pieces now. So we have a three inch conduit coming up out of the ground. That's a long sweep. And that's a schedule 80 pipe. So this freestanding meter base is going to be a 400 amp service, a panel for the actual meter in the center that splits out into two separate 200 amp panels one on each side of the, uh, the meter. The power company came out and met with us. Their main contact person recommended that we do this, knowing that we were building this ourselves and it would take us a long time. That would allow us to skip the whole temporary power. And now we're just gonna dig it out. We're gonna dig out uh, two holes on each side to put these cardboard forms in. If I could do a perfect augered hole, I wouldn't need the forms. My wife is measuring to make sure that we're placing the posts approximately where they need to be. You know, measure it a hundred times, pour or place the concrete once sort of thing. We're gonna to try to put these pipes three foot into the earth. Yeah, it looks like I'm starting with the T-post hammer. I think I switched over to the sludge hammer. This frame that we're building will be built out of galvanized pipe, two pipes going into concrete into the ground, and then some horizontal struts. And these galvanized pipes have a cap that goes on top, keep the rainwater out of them, I guess, to keep it from rusting out from the inside. So we got everything roughed in, and, and then I, <laughs> I was getting ready to pour my concrete, but before I could do that, I had to get my generator started just wasn't starting <laughs> and I, uh, I wore myself out in the process so I added some more of the uh, fuel treatment to it I ended up just letting it sit overnight I went ahead and put some duct tape over the open forms so I could backfill it without getting dirt in there so the next day we got the generator finally working and as I poured that concrete into the forms, I mounded it up a little bit to prevent the standing water around the post. Vibrated the, the voids out of the concrete. Then we backfilled it and covered it up before the freeze. It was supposed to freeze, so. The next day we came out and checked it one last time and it all stayed level and everything held plumb. So the next thing we're gonna do is build out the meter base and then have the electric company come out and pull the wire and then have the inspector come out, inspect it and sign off on it. <laughs> 